I got something to show you guys. Check them out. But you see them palm trees blowing? It is too windy to be out on the water today. Luckily, we went out last night. You know where we're headed? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm a master navigator. I'm good boss. <laughs> Oh, we're going to Key West. <laughs> All right, so we're here in Key West, Florida. We're going to go out bully netting. It's opening night, a mini season. We got 30 minutes. There's a storm going to roll Ooh, by there. That was the big one. We're waiting to see what's going to happen with that. Y'all riding along. We're going to get on some lobster. Well, it's 12.15, but we're waiting out the storm. <laughs> we just got reported. The people that are out there got rained on and got ran off. So we did the right thing. We're going to get them, though. Y'all just wait. Go. Yeah, see? Uh, Lucky you didn't. Net, you pull the string <laughs> and drop them in the, okay. the shrimp hook. Alright, watch out. Coming this way. <laughs> B, you got your light? There we go. First lobster of the night. That's a That's good a one nice right there. Nice one. Very nice. nice. So just Here, put him. The shrimp <clears throat> B, you got your light? That's a big boy. Nice. And uh, I'm going to get this net out of Here, you want me to? Not as uh, there he is. Sometimes you gotta jig it a little bit. Watch out, mommy. That's three. Another one. Very nice. Right here. Well, we've only been going for just a minute. <laughs> well, I can tell you it's been six minutes since we stopped, and you've already got three in the basket. It, like you can see them, there's one up there. Did it push yourself to the left a little bit? Oh, there's another one up there. Yeah, yeah there's two of them up there. I can see it. Keep an eye on him over there. You yep. might be able to hit him with camera. Speaking of the camera, he looks good. So, you want to get that next one, babe? Right here. I can put one on each side if you want. Is that one, one right there? there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Good eyes. I'm usually the one that always sees the flounder in the murky water. So you just go straight down. So you want to kind of hit their like your, those really pony part of their head. Uh huh. Like the pole. Smack his antennas. Here, I got that. 
smack his antennas with these. And you hold the string up. And like, look at my hand real quick. You kind yeah. of like shake it down. You don't lift the net, but you shake it down real quick. Okay, so. But I'm gonna. You go right down, straight down on top of him. Yeah, never go on an angle. And, and then you shake down. the net down so he goes in it, right? Because he's yeah. gonna shoot backwards. Yeah, so look at my net real quick. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit him kind of hard, but don't take the net down. And this, if he goes into the net, just let go of the rope. Let's see. Let's hit him. Oops. Oh, I lost oh. it. You gotta hit him kind of hard. I didn't go too fast. Like a I flounder, didn't go too babe. slow. Yeah, just okay. like a flounder. The last three inches right, hit so him. There's one straight ahead on the right. Let's try him. We got he looks this little, one. little, though. No, he's big. Are you sure? That's a good one. Oh. I thought that. Okay, so let go of the rope. Use two hands and hit him and just, Like that? Jig it. Jig it. There you go. Oh. Now you got him straight up, straight up, straight up. Okay. There you go. <laughs> nice, babe. Can you see him good, B? Yeah. And then grab okay, the string. Okay, so then to pick it him out, grab the, so like the shrimp net, kind of. Yeah. We've been out here for not even five minutes. Fat dad. Oh, that's a good nice. one. Nice. Beautiful. Florida spiny lobster. Yeah. Still yeah. That's a fat one right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. See him? See his little triangle? Uh huh. Deep Sometimes shot. Sometimes when they're deeper, they be bigger. They look. Do they look smaller they look though? Smaller. So you want to make sure you hit them with the pole on its head. So like this way. Yep. Okay. And remember, just like a flounder, you want to get pretty close. Before you. So like, lower it a little bit. How deep is it? Uh, four or five feet. Five feet. Lift, 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 lift. Get out of him. Oh, no, no, hurry up. In the boat. In the boat, in the boat. Dig it, dig it, dig it. Right, lift, lift, lift. He's in. He might come out. Oh, Holy boat. cow. Ah. <laughs> that is a monster. You can kind of like watch where they grow inside the purse. Yeah. And just make sure they're not around the ring before you live. He's in here. Good. No. All right, B, you're up. This is fast and furious, folks. <laughs> it's happening a lot faster than I even dreamed. <laughs> Bee's up on her first one. I don't you see one. You got this, Bee? I can try. She's got her glove on, so you know she's, <laughs> she's, she's serious. serious. Yeah. And make sure you Let hit him flat and flush. Where so did he go? Hit him like that, okay? <laughs> He's right in front straight of you. Straight in down. front of you, straight down. Go, straight down. Put the net flat. Get a little closer. There you go. Hold on, turn around. There you go. Okay, ready? Get a little closer. Down go. Hard. Lift up. Lift, 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 go lift, B, lift, go lift. B. You got it. Woo! Look at that. And just watch That's a good ball. one. Try not to you hit did it. Way. Yeah. So I'm not going to pull one out. <laughs> Get out. Small. Nah, B, you got it. That's a big one. Okay. I got the small one out of the way. You're doing good, B. Remember, make sure you get real on, close. Right over the top of them. Real close. She's doing great. Good job, Bianca. Captain Chris has got us on him. Yeah, he does. Uh, all his information will be in the description of this video. If you want to go out and get some with him during regular season, you can do that. Jig it, jig it, jig it. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Go back down. Go back down. Oh, oh, oh. You gotta hit him hard. Okay. So wait. Wait. Hit him. Dig it. You gotta pop it down. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Just lift it. Lift it gently. Lift it. Get it out of the water. You gotta hit him and make him move. Okay. They don't move unless it's there. So wait, wait, wait. Straight down. Hit him. Jig it. There you right, go. Now, there All right, might be in the light. Nope, you're nope. Good. good job, B. Nice work. How many did you get, B? Um, you got quite a few. I probably got six. Is it mom's turn? I think so. No. Bianca. What? Bianca. Oh, yeah, nice lobster. <laughs> Oh, I think I missed him. Yep. Push us a little right. One, two. 
like you got him, babe. Straight up, straight up, straight up. Straight up in the boat. Over the rail, into the pail. Hey. Bianca is the official wrangler. <laughs> nice work, babe. How many you at, B? Look at that big one in the bottom. 19. One, two, four more. Four more. Hold it up for the camera. Nice Here, work, B. No, let me get this one. Show them a big one. The official lobster wrangler, Bianca. Good job, B. I love you. Oh, there's one right here. I don't think. Oh, you got him. What do you mean? You don't think I got him? Uh, I got him. Crystal said, "You better not doubt me." Mom, this one really likes your shoe. Oh, how many are we at now, B? Twenty-three. Una moss. You want to get the last one, babe? Here. Sure. Here's a good one. Let's say, I'd say. All right. So one side stone crab, this side, that. and this side's lobster. So three yeah. inches from nice the the horns to the back of the carapace. Three. I'd say he, Here, show him a good one real good. See how that's touching, folks? That's what you want. Can't go over. He's right on it. Touching. I'd say this Four. one's good, huh? And try to make sure to go get a nice commercial gauge. A lot of the uh, recreational gauges will actually be longer than three inches. Yeah. Mm. And they'll get you. Uh-huh. It's the plate safe. And so I always pick them it. all up. To, and I'll, like, I'll, put, I'll, hold, I'll take three different gauges in a dive shop and hold them up together. All three of them will be a different length. That's what happens when you get stuff from China. This one's definitely a keeper. That's a keeper, B? That's mm -hmm. a good one. This is a good one. It's as big as you your head. You measure that? Or? Yeah, you got eight. This one's good. Look at this, folks. Nine. <laughs> Don't lose him. He's, <laughs> He's going to hop out of the boat. Ten. Was that 11? Um... Count the, count. On the count. Just throwing them in there. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fourteen. These are big ones too. Fifteen. We'll say this. Sixteen. Well, you just let's just measure them all, B. Yeah. Um, which one? 22. 23. We gotta get one more. Is there, is there anyone hiding in the boat? I just went past like three really good ones. I wanna get one. Right. See him cruising? He's trying to get away from you, B. He's right there, folks. You gotta get him. B's yelling at you and stuff now. <laughs> Go. Hit him. Oh, you got him. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Straight up, straight up, straight up. You got him. Nice work. All right, let's see if that's the finishing touch. There he is. Whew. He might be short. He feels mm -hmm. good. Though. I don't know. You can tell by, like, the width when you grab them. Yeah. They have a certain feel. All day. All day. It's the right size. Right side. Yeah. Nice work. Last one. He's just about right. Put him in there. Look at that, y'all. You think about that. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> My face is burning. I yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go get the truck if you give me my keys. How about that, folks? Oh, we got to limit a lobster without getting wet. Almost. No, we didn't. <laughs> and we're back. It is morning. We had to wait for the lightning to quit to even come out here and clean these things. Uh, but we did have them on ice. I'm going to show you guys real quick how to clean a Florida spiny lobster. Now, back in the day, we used to just twist them and throw them. 
but something a lot of people have started doing in recent years is taking a fillet knife got my toad fish here and actually just coming in in the back of that carapace like that and just ringing it around and what that does is of course i don't have a glove you get just a little bit of extra meat out of there and of course they come in with their own built-in deveiner come in at their their uh their vent we'll call it <laughs> with a broken uh thing like that antenna Whoop, that one didn't work too good. We got them around this way. Do it again. We just pull the uh, the uh, the stuff you don't want to eat out there. There you go. And you got that beautiful Florida lobster tail to eat. But I'm gonna show you one more thing that I like to do to maximize your yield. You can actually, there's meat in all these knuckles here, especially on these bigger lobsters. Take the tip of your knife. You can see where, you hear the lobsters make this noise. You hear them in the water sometimes making that. But take the tip of your knife, and they call this the knuckle. Come around the knuckle like so, on both sides like that. And you can actually take, oof, I should have a glove on. Look at that delicious meat in there. Mm -hmm. And then you break this piece off too. Again, I should have a glove on. And you can steam these like crab legs. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna go get a glove and yes. work through these things. Marlin, look. What is that? What is that? She's like, I don't know. Wee. <laughs> Marlin, what is that? She's not sure about it. You got your gloves on now. All Ready right. to rock and roll. So we're gonna work through these bad boys. People don't do the whole lobster steamed well there's just not a whole lot some people do will cut them in half and yeah. grill them and get, oh yeah yeah and there's that. a little all the, there's a little bit of meat on each leg and stuff yeah. uh, but on this smaller keys lobster you maybe don't get it quite as much gotcha. and then we'll take all our knuckles maybe make lobster mac with them my grandpa used to eat the dead man inside yeah well. that's what he called it Maybe that's why he's lived for so long. <laughs> Maybe. If you, <laughs> Marlon thinks it's a dog toy. If you've ever been lobster and you're trying to catch a lobster and he's a hole and you hear him making that noise, that's actually how they do that. Pretty cool, huh? And like I said, of course, we've iced these lobsters really well so that they're not feeling any pain right now. So, we got lobster tails. We're gonna have a little bit of an early uh, dinner and I realized I need to show you guys this. Most of you guys from Florida already know this, but the best way to split one in half Use you a good pair of shears. These are not a good pair of shears, but they're getting the job done. I do both sides like that. And then once I've cut through it, I take and cut down through the meat. Then you can put it like that and they're ready for the grill. Of course, we're gonna put a little seasoning and butter on them. To get these things ready for the grill, I'm just going to dust them with a little bit of garlic powder, right? A little bit of K-Fred Cajun seasoning. You really don't need much because lobster just tastes so good by itself. And then what I'm going to do is make myself some little pads of butter and set it on top of the meat. So when I stick them on the grill, that butter will melt down and get in between the shell and the meat and uh, make you a butter taste in grilled lobster. I'm not restarting it. No, you gotta fill me in. I'm just making french fries. Mm. Yeah, that is good. Go film Ian, he's got the lobster. 
gonna go to the grill. Already smells so good, guys. You ready? A spare guy. Mm. All right, so we're just doing a simple cook for you guys tonight. Um, just because it's simple food, it's already been a good video. But I got a couple nice ribeyes that are gonna go on, and then we're gonna put, of course. Ooh, it just got on the grill and it smells so good already. Those lobster tails. I got, hold on. I got problems. <laughs> I'm gonna put our asparagus up top. Like that. Then. All right, so I'm gonna take my lobster tails and I'm gonna do them shell side down first. I'm gonna let them cook almost all the way that way. And let that butter melt down into them. Oh no. Ow. Ow. Getting burned. Getting burned. <laughs> it's not going as planned. Use the tongs. Just like that. Get them on there. And ow. gotta improvise. Use the tongs. Ow, 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 ow. Anyways, <laughs> what's gonna happen is that butter is gonna melt down in between that sh those shells and cook into that delicious lobster meat. I'd say three minutes. So we flame it up, y'all. That butter's dripping down in there. Take them things, flip them over, get some nice grill marks on them. Here, B, hold the camera. Yeah. I'm gonna turn this side down just to hear. Look at all that good meat. I think I had her cranked up too much. <laughs> Yeah, too hot on this side. This grill gets super hot, but that's okay. And I'm gonna roll our asparagus around a little I bit. I love asparagus. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Boom, nice sear on those things. How about that? We got the delicious grilled asparagus. Put the lobsters up here just to finish. We'll pull these things off, go inside and eat. Okay, well guess what? Mm. Right. Okay, let's see. This is what it's all about. It's what we came here for. It's what thousands of Florida families and people from South Carolina and Georgia and Nova. anybody that knows about good living comes down to the Keys for many season. It's something I grew up doing, so it holds a special place in my heart. Um, mm. grilled these lobsters up. I got the shells a little overcooked, but uh, the lobster is good. We got some nice ribeyes oh and we got some asparagus. asparagus grilled up. So, get me a ribeye. You get a but whole one? Hmm? I get a whole one, yeah. I have to share mine? With, oh. with the dogs. No, with me. But anyways, look at this. So we got our grilled lobster. They pull right out of the shell like that. Isn't that beautiful? Here, let me get the next one closer. Um, Do the next one. Get it? I kind of grab that meat right there and just pull it right out of the shell. Mm. And like I said, that butter that I put on there all melts down in there when you grill them. It makes it really good. Mm -hmm. But let's get a bite of this for the camera and then we're gonna sign off on this one and eat. Little, put that in your little, I like to put a little bit of lime juice in my butter. You know, I've told you guys that before. Mm -hmm. mm. That's good. But I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Bully netting is super awesome. It's something you should look in trying to do if you come down here in lobster. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna dive for them ever again. <laughs> ever again. <laughs> I've got a Carolina Skiff bow rider at my house right now. Me and Harold are getting ready to put a 40 horsepower Yamaha on it. And I think it's going to be the bully net boat. But thank you guys for watching. Thank you everyone who subscribes, everyone who likes, everyone who comments. 
if all the just, people we ran into. Yeah, I everybody know. we ran into down here. Uh, you made me feel special every <laughs> single time. You, you want to talk to me? I'm always. If I react kind of funny, it's because I'm not used to it. I'm not used to people just wanting to talk to me or knowing who I am. But uh, thank all of you, and we'll see you on the next one.